back as you can see we're in uh, camo corner and uh, I really want to do this one on the bank or on the lake somewhere so you could see all the different setups I will put some pictures up here during the during the uh, video just to show you some pictures I did take uh, unfortunately I can't get out at the moment so um, we're gonna do it from here so a lot of people ask me what sort of uh, pods or bank sticks I use now I know this is gonna cause a bit of a stir and um, what I'm gonna show you is what I use and I've used for probably the last 12 years and uh, it's not cheap but it lasts so uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you this it's the solar worldwide pod this is the original one I know they do a lot of the new ones I think they're called the P ones that sort of stuff um, but this is the original one I've, I've had it used it for around 12 years and it's still going strong and as you'll see when I show you it's setting up and that sort of stuff you'll see it's still in like really really good condition so yes it's a lot of money but if you take out what it costs I think it was around about 320 pound when I bought it but I've had it 10 to 12 years so if you work it out even just over 10 years it's about 30 35 pound a year uh, and also they still make them really good money second hand so realistically um, I think I'll have, I'll have a look up and, and put up here what they're roughly making second hand and then you can work out um, whether it's value for money or not personally I think it is um, so yeah let's get into it and uh, show you how I use them and what I use so I've got the camera set up down here so you can see on the floor as I'm messing around setting it up and doing bits and pieces I carry two lots of stuff in my van with me so when I find the swim I want I've got the choice of whether I want to go bank sticks or pod but they're all interchangeable and I'll show you all this as I go along and um, this isn't what you buy as one setup it's a setup I bought and then added bits and pieces to it so I'll show you all the bits and pieces as I go and then explain um, prices and all that later on in, in the video um, and just show you how they interchange how they set up and, and times of setting up and different situations and all that sort of stuff so anyway here we go this is how it comes in a bag it's zipped around the center and you get these two snap buckles on the front now this isn't the original bag I got with it you get a bag with it which clips to there this one still does it's a solar bag it's an aftermarket solar bag um, I've got a few more bank sticks and I've got the, uh, the extension bar for the pod so this holds more the original one the bottom just went on it this has got a reinforced bottom so it still does fit on there it does exactly the same job but this isn't the original one that come with it um, as you can expect after 12 years things do wear so anyway I'll show you what I keep in here in the center so basically in here I've got obviously morph the mascot there is a Nash it's what you put on the floor to protect your reels if they're really low uh, I think I've only ever used it once I've got a couple of bar towels just to help keep them clean the two bits of the pod the main bits of the pod in the center of it you've got a center piece that sits in there and that's got a partition in it in here I've got the four standard legs that come with it I've got two stubby legs and then in here I've got four pegs and one's for me sling and the other three are for my back leads I've got a uh, captive back leads that I use sometimes and then as you've probably seen I've got the uh, tracker hook which I clip on the center of the pod and just put peg to the floor and that's what I keep in this bag right so this is the bag I was showing you it's got a handle on the front so you can carry it like that it's got a snap buckle so I suppose you can clip that right sit that in your uh, like your, your rod bag and clip that around it and it's got a big center zip so in here I keep this is the main pod center bar with the extension fitted to it as well I've got two other solar bank sticks they're slightly longer than the standard ones and I have two even longer ones these are just the cheaper ones uh, really good quality but uh, they're just cheaper NGT ones they're even longer still and that is just that's just what I have that for it's just uh, that sits in the ground and then I have my um, landing net handle in there just so it's easy to grab in the night right just for this uh, purpose of this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up this way I'm gonna set it up with two of the standard legs on the back the two stubby legs on the front and then 
with the extension bar in and I'm going to use my alarms I use um, I'm not doing this is not a, t a thing on the alarms a review on the alarms this is just showing you how I set everything up so what I'll do is I'll start the stopwatch and then I'll put it together so you can see how quickly it goes together so start the stopwatch so this basically just clips together like that tightens up small legs on the front little stubby legs are really good I really like these medium size or standard legs on the back they'll just screw on quite easily and then this just screws onto there like that and then this one to the front go on and that is the pod set up hopefully you can see it there and that is set up how I use it a lot of the time and um, I'll show you all the adjustments and other bits and pieces and I'll set it up in different ways and different lengths and all that sort of stuff but this is the majority of the time how I set it up and as you can see I think it took if I look down I think it was just just over just over a minute I think um, but yeah, don't take long to set up at all. Right, so I'll show you a couple of adjustments you can do on here. So basically this is a center extension bar. So I have it at that. You can take it out and just have it shorter. This, or you undo that and that, that extends again even more. So you've got lots of options for that. But again, this is how I have it most of the time set like this. For the front, if you set it up like this and then you decide you want it the other way around to save taking the legs off, you can just unscrew these and then take the take the buzz bars off and just put them in the back and then the back ones in the front and that changes it so you've got higher the other end to what you did have it and um, so it just saves you having to unscrew all the legs you just unscrew them put them on there and um, so that's that you can adjust the legs here they adjust like that just by doing that and then also so you just unscrew these and they can adjust like that as well so you can have it wider i quite like mine nice and sort of compact like that these can also adjust as well so you can have these wherever you want them and then just nip them up tight to suit what you want so this is the center bar it's screwed on either end and then i was saying about extending it this has got the 20 inch euro extension in so when it comes to standard it's just like that so you've got that much adjustment which is enough but you can buy a, this section which is a 20 inch i think they're called euro extension and that slides in there and slide up and down and that bit just fits in there like that and you just tighten these up and then it can adjust a, a lot more um for when you want to get the pod up or if you whatever you want to do with it really just extends a hell of a lot more so on the buzz bars at the front for my alarms, I use Delkims on all my bank sticks and uh, pods and, and uh, all sorts of buzz bars, different bits and pieces I've got. So basically what I do, I use D-Lock system. So it's just slots on like that and you're ready to go and to pull it off, just a little wiggle and it comes off. That's my preferred choice. On the back, I use solar uh, adjustable butt rests. Really like these, used them for years, tried the cheap, you get so you can find some cheaper ones on internet sites that look very similar that there's no comparison the solar ones are far better and um, yes they're dearer but they last a hell of a lot longer um, and I use these and they're adjustable so whatever sort of size but you've got on your rod you can adjust these to suit okay so, so as you saw a, a little while ago um, I showed you how to take these off so basically what you do is just unscrew them you can take them out and now you can use that as like on a bank stick um, or I've got here these are Nash four rod buzz bars they are goalpost 
style that's anything of these um, you can these do fit as well um, I only use these once in France but again these fit it's just something I've got just in case I want to use for you have to have them slightly offset because of these you can't move these but um, they fit and they work and do the job so they fit quite nice um, and it's another nice option I've got two three and four rod option plus singles of the bank sticks so nice little thing I'll show you the um, I've got a two rod um, setup which I'll show you in a minute which is bank sticks and they fit in here as well so everything's sort of interchangeable so uh, whatever situation I end up fishing in I'm, I'm covered basically so once I've found my swim if I don't need a pod and I'm only going to be fishing two rods and um, I can just take this it's basically everything in here I need so this is just a Nash case and in here I have the solar bank sticks and buzz bars and this this does me for a, a two rod setup traveling really light and obviously i chucked my receiver in here as well but i've got it in the other box at the moment so the last time i was out i was fishing three rods but this is what i use for a, a, a very lightweight quick setup so i'll show you how it goes together so basically as you can see my alarms are all fitted i've literally just got elastic bands around there holding my night lights and um my um hangers and all, I, all it is is basically depends which you want i've got two different size bank sticks and um, whichever you want they're just screwed on and you're ready to go more or less it's as simple as that screw it on the other one on and this is just takes not even 30 seconds to set up so it's really really quick uh, like that we're ready to go and um, these are stabilizers they just help stabilize your bank sticks you don't have to have them it's just some people like them some people don't i find them handy sometimes and um, they come in a job lot of bank sticks i bought so i keep them on here just in case i need them these are adjustable they're two rod and um, and these also fit the uh pod like you just saw these are the new p1 um system the one one bad thing i found with the uh um these buzz bars they've changed them now i think they've gone more to this sort of system is sometimes if you do these bits up really really tight they can be a bit of a job to get undone um i've never not been able to get them done but sometimes they can struggle my grip isn't as good as it used to be but with the new p1s as you can see there they've got this sort of groove on them which help um get a bit more grip but that's the only sort of fault i've really got with it so um i can live with that so a couple of bits I've got, little additions I've um, added to it as I've gone over the years, is you can buy these. They are solar goalpost adapters. So some people don't like just a centre one. So all these do is they just basically fit on there and just screw them on the buzz bar. And now you have, as you can see, goalpost adapters. I'll put the price up here of what these are, these bits and pieces as we go. Um, I can't remember offhand. Um, I've got to look it up because some of this stuff I've had quite a while. Um, and another thing I bought was these is sometimes if you're on the uh, platforms and you or, and you want to use just your bank sticks and you want to screw them down, you can't screw down to wood. So I bought these little stage stands. If you can just see them there. They're basically little stage stands screw hole in the bottom and they come with a little four inch leg and basically all that does is that just slots in there like that and uh, you can use that on a, a wooden platform and um, let's say there's a screw hole in the bottom you just put a screw in screw it down put that on there like that um, and you can use your bank sticks so like if you're using a pod it doesn't matter because obviously your pod just sits on there these are cheaper ones again i'll stick the price up here and um, i i do like the solar ones the problem was these I think are around about a tenner for a set and the solar ones were about 80 pound a set and for the amount I use it probably once a year if that and I couldn't warrant spending 80 pound on something we're going to sit around all year when people do the same job but the uh, solar ones are a nice bit of kit and uh, never say never you never know then I might get them one day but for now for the amount I use them these do me fine so I'm going to show you a few setups now this is the pod with no euro bar in standard legs on the back stubbies on the front and it's its lowest adjustment exactly the same setup standard legs on the back stubbies on the front lowest adjustment but this is with the euro bar in this is the same as the last one standard on the back 
stubbies on the front, Euro bar in, but as you can see, the legs on the back are raised to give you more of an angle. So in this one, it's at lowest adjustment, it's the standard legs front and back with the Euro bar in the centre. In this one, exactly the same again, Euro bar in the centre, standard legs front and back, but as you can see on the adjustment, the back end is raised to give you more of an angle again. So as you can see in this one, you've got the Euro centre bar in, standard legs on the back, uh, lowest adjustment, and then I've got bigger legs on the front to lift the front right up. So I'm going to show you a few on the bank shots. This is with the stubbies on the front, standard on the back, adjusted up, and with the Euro bar in the centre with three rods on. So as a view from the back, standards on the back at the highest point, and stubbies on the front at the lowest point with the Euro bar in the centre. This is how I use it most of the time. Overhead view showing three rods on the pod with the buzz bars at their shortest. Uh, I do have foldable handles on these reels. So here you can see the two rod buzz bar set up uh, with bank sticks. This is what I use when I'm traveling real late. As you can notice, the uh, stabilizers are not in the ground. This picture was just done to show you the two rod set up. So here you can see I have the single bank stick set up. I carry these with me pod and with me um, two rod set up. It's just so if you want to put your rods at a different angle or, or if you go do a bit of stalking, it's just easier. Uh, I have the D-lock system on the front so the alarms all it change. On the back of these, I don't use the solar butt rest. I've got um, a few ESP different sizes that I use. So here you can see it all laid out. There's the two stubbies, the four standard, Next to that are the two solar that are slightly longer than the standard. Then next to that are the two cheaper ones that are longer. I've got two more cheaper ones that are even longer still. Then you can see to the left of that the Euro center bar. And here's the buzz bars and the main bit of the pod. As you can see, it's still in really good condition after, the, after 12 years of use. Most of it's been used for 12 years. That pink glow, they're not pink. It's, it's just the lighting. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's still in really good condition after 12 years. That's why I like the stainless. Right, in the stills I just saw where I'd done the voiceover, you saw I had a single rod set up with bank sticks. Basically what I've got is I've got two with butt rests on and I've got two with a D-lock system on. Um, what I do is I tend to put a pair together like that and that and then I have one set in my pod bag and one set in my light travelling bag. The good thing with the um, D-lock system is you can just pull an alarm off your buzz bar or off your pod and it fits on there. And on these, I don't use the solar butt rest, I use ESP ones. I've got three different sizes to suit the different rods I've got. So you've got small, medium and large there. Uh, I've got a set of 10s, 12s and 13s, so depending on which ones I'm using, I just screw it in and we're ready to go. So if you want to put a third rod out or you want to do a, like a, a cheeky one down the margin or you, or you want to just go do a bit of stalking, you don't have to worry too much. You just grab these, stick that one in there. So there you have it. I know it's not going to be for everybody. Uh, some people want cheaper pods, some people probably want dearer ones. This worked for me for the last 12 years, so for me it's good value for money, it's lasted and I've still got it to sell when, when I decide to change. I wouldn't, even though there's, uh, I don't think you can buy this one anymore, but Solo do do um, the new P1s and there's minis and different sizes. There's about four different thing pods they do now. Um, all look great, uh, I've seen them in the shops, look really nice. Um, if I didn't use the solar, I would probably go for the Matrix. My mate's got one, it looks a really nice little compact pod. But like I said, this has done me for 12 years. It'll probably do me for the next 12 years. I'm happy with it. And, and with all the bits and pieces that I've just shown you, um, I've got lots of options. So, you know, I can go pod, I can go bank sticks, I can go one, two, three rod, four rod, whatever I want to do. So it all suits what I want. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. And like subscribe comment and uh, we'll see you on the next one